What's on YouTube? It's PTT back at it with another Destiny 2 video. Today, guys, we are talking about uh, this week at Bungie. Uh, obviously, as always, it will be linked in the description box down below if you would like to go and check it out yourself. Now, normally, I only pull out the things I think you need to know. But this week, with such a short article, I thought we would actually cover the entire thing. So let's start off with faction rallies, okay? As you all know, faction rallies will run until reset, and Bungie will actually announce the winner on Tuesday, October 3rd. As soon as the scheduled downtime to deploy hotfix 1.0.3.1 ends now what time that will be i have no idea i have no doubt it will be at a funny time that uh, that annoys the, the the majority of us here in in europe and on uh, on the uk europe time zone um basically guys that will then be the chance to purchase the weapon from the winning faction in the tower so dead orbit future walker or new monarchy but i think we all know that is going to be a dead orbit weapon for a thousand glimmer Everywhere else, you'll have to pay 50,000 glimmer. Now, it is also worth noting about the faction rallies, guys, that they are set to become a new ritual that visits the tower periodically. Now, they don't say fortnightly, they don't say monthly, two monthly, or whatever. I would actually like to think that it would come around like Iron Banner once a month, but they just they, they just quoted periodically at the moment, okay? I think we're going to have to wait and see just how often that will be. Now, once the event is over, tokens can no longer be earned, but you can still redeem any that you're still holding to receive packages. Any engrams that are waiting to be claimed from a faction vendor will be automatically decrypted and placed in your inventory at the reset. Now, you've got to make sure that you turn in all of your faction tokens before the end of the victory week that is obviously the second week so the week after the faction rally ends week commencing october 3rd as they will be reset before the next faction rally event returns now I, i've got to say i don't actually like that like if i wanted to farm the hell out of it right now because i had nothing to do i think i should be allowed to and sit on a stack of 999 faction tokens to use next time round. But of course, that is my personal opinion. Guys, what do you think? Like, do you think we should be able to hold on to these things past reset? The same as raid keys. I mean, what if you finish the raid and your raid team doesn't want to go and get the chest and you don't get them done and you lose out on your keys? I don't like the whole idea of taking things off of you at reset. But of course, as always, I would love to know what you think down below. Next, then, we are going to talk about the sandbox, okay? Uh, they talk about, obviously... All the weapons uh, in game at the moment and obviously the sandbox is full of these new weapons and abilities and things like that and the community is already discussing uh, what we believe as a community be, to be the best tools for destruction in crucible now they do go on to talk about the mida and they are obviously aware that there is a bit of an issue with mida to a point i'm actually going to quote you know what that that'd be better we are aware of Mida Multi-Tools popularity and are looking at it very closely. It is popular, but according to our data, there are other options out there that match or exceed its effectiveness in all activities. Have you found one? Now, I agree with this wholeheartedly, guys. I've been saying it from like the second day when people found the Mida Multi-Tool. Yes, it is good. Yes, in the, hands of, in, in the hands of four people that are working as a team and communicating and body shotting, it is going to melt you. But you can outshoot a minor multi-tool very easily. You have the call to serve scout rifle. This comes from the European Dead Zone. You have the name is Midnight. This comes from the Vanguard. There is another scout rifle that I failed to remember the name constantly, even though I need it and I want it, but I can't remember. It is a very nice scout rifle. There are so many things that will outshoot the minor. Guys, go and try them. Please, if you're watching this and you're using a Mida, please put it down. Go and go and try something else. You will have a lot of fun. And I can almost guarantee you, if you actually go and play with another Scout Rifle, you will enjoy it better because there are so many of them that are indeed 100% better. Next, then, they go on to talk about the patch note previews. This is, like I said, October 3rd, uh, hotfix 1.0.3.1, and it contains some fixes for issues some players are experiencing. So let's Let's name off what they are. Fix an issue in which players could lose access to the veteran's transmat effect by deleting characters. Fix an issue in which clan engrams would grant trials of nine and raid rewards at only 10 power. Fix an issue in which progress for the exotic quest step his highness's seal was not incrementally properly. Yes! Quest progress will still in... Oh, hang on. Quest progress will still increment by one, but the quest step now only requires 10 seals to be collected. 
Okay, that's not bad. I, I can live with that. Obviously, they couldn't fix it. I was a little bit worried then. So currently, guys, if you are on uh, the exotic shotgun quest and you need to do the raid like 13 and a half times, they are changing that. Um, that should mean I have it when this update comes out, which is pretty cool. Um, next, then they fix an issue in which raid milestones would not show for some players after weekly reset. This affects me quite often. Fix an issue in which players couldn't enter a state where they are continuously killed or unable to resurrect in an encounter's complete and failure events occurred simultaneously. Well, we've all had that in the raid, I am pretty sure. And of course, if you're still experiencing an issue not listed in the fixes above, click on the list of known issues. We are still investigating. And that, guys, about wraps up this week at Bungie. Like I said, it's not very long. There's not too much to talk about, but that is it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Drop a thumbs up. As always, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel for daily Destiny videos. But for now, Guardians, as always, thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.